there any questions for the Senate President? How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to Ledger Live. Public worker unions have been protesting outside the State House here all week against the proposed pension and benefits reform. And one thing you keep hearing over and over again is these conspiracy theories and suspicion about South Jersey political boss George Norcross. Senator Steve Sweeney is doing the bidding of New Jersey's most powerful political boss, insurance broker George Norcross. Sweeney proposed sending more tax dollars to Norcross until the New York Times exposed him. Here's now some background. The original proposal by Senate President Steve Sweeney, who's a lifelong friend of Norcross, had this little clause that would have prohibited towns and school districts from putting their employees in a state-run benefits program. Now, towns love this program because it saves them and taxpayers a lot of money. But see, Norcross owns a company that sells health insurance to governments in the state, and, well, the New York Times found out he was losing business to the state-run program. Now, after the paper blew the lid off that, the Norcross clause was pulled from the bill. But then another weird clause popped up. That one would require all public employees to go to New Jersey hospitals only for their health care. Seeing as Norcross is chairman of the board of trustees at Cooper University Hospital in Camden, people figured he'd somehow benefit from it. Listen, George Norcross is responsible for North Jersey health care systems and, and, and for the boogeyman coming out of the corner and, 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 you know, and all that stuff. I've lived with that my whole life, Tim. You know, and look, I will never walk away from a friend. Cooper Hospital doesn't need this. You know why? They provide great care. Now, there was such an uproar over this that even that clause was removed just before the bill went to a vote. What's with the suspicion? I mean, this guy, he's not a lawmaker. He doesn't have any real power. So you have to understand something. I'm not going to tell you this trick to insult you. But in the end, the McGreevies, the Corzines, they're all going to be with me. Because, not because they like me, but because they have no choice. Oh, hmm. Well, okay. So he throws his weight around a little bit, but I mean, he's a philanthropist. He's, he would never be involved in like these kind of cutthroat political deals. He's a no good <laughs> What? I mean, he's such an arrogant. <laughs> but Rosenberg is his stuff. I mean, he is dumb. And anything I can do to <laughs> sorry, not there, because I think he's his stuff. An evil that is some heavy stuff. That's the kind of stuff you expect to hear from a politician in maybe Essex or Hudson County, not South Jersey, where, you know, people are supposed to be a little more civilized. No one will ever, ever again, uh, not include or look down the double cross out there. Because they know we put up the gun and we pull the trigger. And we blow their brains out. They know. We're just like Hudson County and Essex County. All right. You know what? The good thing is. Norcross probably has no influence now. I mean, Governor Chris Christie's in office now, and he's on the case. He's a Republican. Norcross is a Democrat. Christie's never liked Norcross. Back in 2006, when he was U.S. Attorney, he was all over the Attorney General's office for blowing the investigation into Norcross. That's where those tapes came from. What's this? Norcross promises effective charter schools in Camden. The de facto Democratic leader of South Jersey Insurance and Hospital Executive George Norcross will be involved in sponsoring several new charter schools in Camden, speaking at the graduation of an of high school where he shared the stage with his unlikely school reform ally, Republican Governor Christie. Oh, man. Hey, boss, how you doing? Uh, listen, you know the video I was working on about all the baseless uh, conspiracy theories and Norcross being a puppy dog? Uh, I think I gotta go uh, rethink that one and maybe go back to the drawing board. <laughs>